All right, guys, we're gonna do 10 fish reviews. Um, this is the first episode, so I don't even know what we're gonna get yet because I'm gonna do it a little different. I've been grabbing 10 fish whenever I can from different markets, and I've got this lovely fish bag that I'm gonna put them in. And then I also have these beauties, Melinda's Hot Sauce Spice Rack. So all different kinds of things, kind of see what pairs with different fish. And then also part of this would be um, tasting all these fish, reviewing them, and then creating dishes from them. So that'll be like a separate part would be like the tin fish review. And then also making foodstuffs out of the tin fish. So we go ahead and pop the tin fish we have in this bag into this guy so we can have a blind back thing. And I got all different kinds. Um, there's brands from like Asia and the US, Spain. Um, so we never know what we're gonna get. I'm also, it's gonna be cool is that uh, we're going on a trip to the Pacific Northwest and Canada in October. So I'm hoping to possibly be able to visit some of these cool places like Fishwife and Ikone, which is the Taylor Fish Farms. Um, so we'll see that. I'm gonna put this hot sauce in this little guy right here. So we'll have these guys going. Um, I'm really excited about these two because I really dig hot sauce. And one of the things I like about this brand, Melinda's, is that they really accentuate the fact that it's not just about heat, but it's also about flavor. Um, and that's a big thing for me is that I love hot stuff, but I really don't like it when places just try to like do hot for hot sake, like everything's a challenge and everything's this, like, I like hot flavor, so. So this will also be a secret. Okay, so we got it all good. You know, it's like a shake, a little shaky shaky, a little shaky shaky. All right, now let's see what we get. Okay, so I'll open this up just a little bit. Okay, got it. Eyes closed. Zip her back up. Put this inside. Okay, let's find out what we get. We get a Patagonia provisions. Um, this is cool. This is actually the Patagonia everybody knows and loves, and it makes all that outdoor equipment and all that stuff. Um, they have a line called. Patagonia provisions that is just that all kinds of provisions they do mostly tin fish but they have like jerky and crackers and pastas and like um not MREs but kind of like you know those boil pack packing kind of meals where you just put in a pot and add water boil I got those kind of things um so super excited about these these are sustainable one percent for the planet so why mackerel Mackerel's a good fish. A mild, meaty, smaller fish, Atlantic mackerel, is an excellent source of protein and vitamin B12. Ours swim in immense schools off the coast of northern Spain. By choosing to eat these fish, we are taking the pressure off less abundant species like tuna. We are also supporting local fishing families whose traditional hook and line techniques, which means almost no bycatch. Bycatch means, obviously, when you're using those giant nets, you're catching squid and all different kinds of fish, not just the fish you're trying to get. So. Super stoked to try these guys out. So let's bust into them. Okay, so here's a better view of this packaging. So right here, kind of Patagonia provisions. And these are the lemon caper mackerel and organic extra virgin olive oil. See the serving science facts like there. Business to save our home planet. Um, yeah, pretty good. We got till 2026 to eat these. So let's try to into it. I'm also gonna try to keep a keep the boxes and make a little uh, 
kind of notebook flavor profiles things like that that's kind of cool we go usually there's not much printing on the cans um, so a little bit about before to pop into this thing i am like ghetto tin fish um, i've been eating smoked oysters and like sardines and mustard dill sauce since i was a kid and just anything you can find at the grocery store and was kind of lacking in I got these little tweezers figure it'd be easier to get in this kind of lacking in the in the getting quality um tin fish um i never got into like getting stuff from spain and portugal and all those cool cities that like tin fish is a huge thing and then you know seeing in the past probably like six months or so and maybe even longer than that is tin fish is like blowing up right now and so kind of opened my eyes to the quality that's out there the versatility the variety um all that kind of good stuff about tin fish that i didn't really think of you know i would just be like "Ooh, i want craving some tin fish or go get those you know run to safeway or any other supermarket and just you know grab those sardines and olive oil or sardines and mustard dill sauce or tomato sauce and the smoked oysters which were never that great personally but it was kind of more of a nostalgia piece those tended especially the mussels and oysters tend to be like gritty um and just kind of overcooked but now i'm gonna dive into this um really excited to make dishes with these and get into that stuff so let's pop this bad boy open so i just want to be careful because it's very juicy and this will be stinky so so already you can see just how quality this the guys are going look at this beautiful meat here let's get in some of this oh yeah that's nice so these don't have bones just the nice chunks of the mackerel and uh Let's try and get in here. I don't really see any capers, but you can kind of see the the tint of the olive oil. It's kind of nice. Now, I don't know if that's because of the lemon and capers or if it's just a good quality olive oil, but let's try it out. It does have, let's give it a little, it's got a nice fishy taste. Mackerel to me has always been like way oilier. So let's give it a, let's give it a taste here. Hmm. So it's definitely on the fishier side of the scale. So maybe if you're not into fish, um, like the fishiness of taste, like me, I have a really big, like fishy, fishy things. It's not, it doesn't go well with me. I like the crisp, clean ocean flavor of fish. Um, but this is, I would say like a five out of 10 on the fishiness scale. The, it's very tender. There's a little bit of a chew to it, but you can see that it, it flakes really nice. Um, I don't get too much lemon. Definitely strong olive oil. There is that, if you, have had capers before they have this kind of not acidic but there's like a astringent quality to them and that kind of comes through which is interesting because it's not the forward flavor of caper that i would be wanting to get i definitely get like no lemon whatsoever um Even the olive oil taste is very, very light. It's not super oily. It's like, it's definitely, it's not super fatty tasting either. Like it doesn't have that coating on your mouth that sometimes you get with olive oil. Um, but it's delicious. Um, definitely good recipe fish, I would say. Like this would be good to make like a little, 
you know, in place of tuna for making like tuna salad.